Let me show you a really cool tip for developing great lines in your golf swing. The nice thing about this tip as well, you don't have to just do it at the driving range. You can practice this at home in your back garden. All you need is your golf clubs and a couple of canes or alignment sticks. I'm using canes on this occasion, but as I say, most of the time I'd use my alignment sticks. We place the club into position. That's going to be so we can set up having square toes, knees, hips and shoulders. Then from there, set up to the ball. And now as we work the club back, we've got an immediate line here to get the club swinging onto. You'll see now that this club and the club on the floor are going to be right in line. That's the position we want to get. Really good players keep the lines really clean in their golf swing. So we take the club back to here and we're just practicing a half motion swing at the moment. So from there, then we'd come back down into impact, hit the shot, and then we'd come through and use this other cane. You can see right down the line there that this other cane keeps me on line that way. What I see is a lot of players get the club working very quickly inside and of course they'd go ahead and miss that cane. So just practicing the motion here. Some of the things that I show you, it's not about hitting golf balls with, it's about learning the motion. A really good way to develop as well, to get the feeling quicker, is to close your eyes. So as we take that club back, you're then feeling that point where it touches the cane there. We know that's a great position to get our hands into from there. Looking from this angle, you can see a really good setup position. Then I'm just going to turn that left shoulder away, keep it turning until I match the club up with the club that's on the ground. What a great position I'm in there now to start to deliver the club back down to the ball. See how my right side is releasing and I come through the shot and I'm in this position here. Don't worry about touching it. Remember, a practice drill like this is all about improving the motion and improving the accuracy of the way we swing it. There's no such thing as an absolutely perfect inch by inch swing. We're just trying to gather the lines and get the right information. Now the problem with this drill, I watch players do it and they'll make 10 back swings and only two through swings. Don't allow yourself to do that. Make some back swings, but be make sure as well that we come through and we practice this position here. There, down and through. Now, of course, if we are on the driving range, we can go ahead and hit some shots. So let me go and hit one for you. Remember, we're just keeping the swing at a half tempo. We'll turn it back, bang. Now there you can see I've just come through this cane by about three or four inches. That's okay. Remember, we're always training the swing. It doesn't have to be absolutely set inside that, but what it is, is we don't want to be wiping it across and knocking the cane out completely. We go ahead and hit another shot. Just turn it softly back. You can see how my club collides into the shot there. That's okay though. We'll also help you to build up the rhythm here. Keep it nice and soft back, drive that through. See how my legs fully extend through. So go ahead and practice this. Believe me, it will make a real difference to the motion of the beginning of your golf swing.